first installment, um, our first real installment with my vlog challenge. Um, I was thinking yesterday how, how I was saying that I'm going to talk from the perspective of a photographer, which I am, but actually I would say the majority of my readers I don't think are professional photographers. I think I have a lot of um, college students that read it. I have a lot of mostly stay-at-home moms that read my blog. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to give tips and tricks and um, maybe just little advice for you to take maybe more fun pictures at home with your kids or your husband. So um, today I thought we would talk about composition. So um, as you can tell, I'm standing in the middle of the frame, or at least I should be. I can't really see myself, but um, you know, this is always a real safe way to do it. It's good because um, you don't. This way, you're not really cutting people off. But if you just want to, if you have um, like maybe one subject, or you're taking a picture of your kid, you want to make it a little bit more artistic. You can put them, um, break your frame into thirds, and put them. So now I should be in the, uh, I think it's going to be your <laughs> right side of the frame right now. Um, and it just adds a little bit more interest. You have a lot more negative space over here and just something about it makes it more artistic. Um, you can also keep someone in the middle, but you can l just tilt up your camera just a little bit so they're in the bottom. I'm squatting right now, but um, hopefully I don't look like a dork and I'm just showing you. <laughs> Actually, I probably do, but that's alright. Um, so if I'm in the bottom third, that can add some interest as well. Um, as far as posing, a quick tip. I learned this from Vicki Toffer with V Gallery. She's a very widely known photographer, and she taught us um, that for a more feminine pose, so if, you're, if you want to pose women, um, the key a lot of times is to turn their body away from the light. So my light source is coming in from here if you turn the body away from the light, but then turn their face towards the light. That's very feminine. Um, men, it's the opposite. You turn their body towards the light and, um, the, you know, they can look towards the camera. So there you have it. Hopefully those are kind of fun tips you can use um, on your next vacation. You can make your husband go out and um, he can be your model. So anyway, hope you're having a good day and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.